Hello everyone, Mr. Quick here. Today we are diving into Eureka Math slash Engage New York Math Module 1 Lesson 5, Solving Problems by Finding Equivalent Ratios. And today we're going to really de uh, dive deep into how can we solve problems and find um, quantities if we if we only have the ratio but we don't have the totals. And so this is this is solving problems using ratios but it's also a little bit of kind of like early algebra and there's gonna be some algebraic thinking involved. Um, so we're only gonna do two examples, but the two examples are pretty uh, involved. So we're gonna dive deep into those right now. Okay, this is example one, and this comes directly from Eureka Math. A county superintendent of highways is interested in the number of, excuse me, is interested in the numbers of different types of vehicles that regularly travel within his county. So he wants to know what type of vehicles travel within his county. In the month of August, a total of 192 registrations were purchased for passenger cars and pickup trucks at the local Department of Motor Vehicles. It's a lot of information, but basically 192 trucks or cars were registered in August. The DMV reported that in the month of August, for every five passenger cars registered, there were seven pickup trucks registered. How many of each type of vehicle were registered in the county in the month of August? So we need to find out how many cars were registered and how many trucks were registered. They have not told us either one or, or how many cars or trucks. We don't have the, the information for either one, but what we do know is that the ratio of cars to trucks, forgive my handwriting there, is five to seven. They also ask us, you know, are there different ways we can write this ratio? Well, we could write trucks to cars, right? And there's seven trucks to five cars. That's one way to write it. We could write cars to total vehicles, right? There's five cars to the total number of vehicles, well, five cars, seven trucks, would be 12, so the total ratio is five to 12. Or we could write trucks to the total, which would be seven trucks. Again, the total is 12, five plus seven. We are going to focus, as I erase here, on the ratio they gave us originally, which is trucks, or excuse me, cars to trucks, the ratio of cars to trucks, which is five to seven. This is where, as we've talked about in the previous few lessons, these tape diagrams are really going to come in handy. So I have my cars and I have my trucks and I'm going to create a tape diagram for each one. The cars tape diagram is going to be split into how many parts? You got it, five. Which would mean that the trucks tape diagram is going to be split into how many parts? Same size uh, pieces as the one as the cars tape diagram, but we're gonna have two additional cuts because we're looking at seven trucks. And so you'll notice that the first five, one, two, three, four, five of cars, so the whole thing of cars, is the same size as you know, as well as I could draw it to the first five of the trucks. One, two, three, four, five. Because the pieces are equal sized pieces. Each square should be basically the same size. But since trucks have seven, then we added a sixth and seventh piece. Now, I know that there are 12 pieces, right? Because for cars, we have five pieces, equal sized parts of our tape diagram. And for trucks, I have seven pieces. So if I add up all the cars and all the trucks, I'm going to get 12 total parts of the combined tape diagram. That's important. What is also important is we need to know, okay, we've got this cute little uh, tape diagram, looks good. Now, what does that represent? Well, you might say, well, cars and trucks. How many? We know, if we go back to the problem, there's a total of 192 registrations. So all 12 pieces, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all 12 pieces of our tape diagram, if you add them all up together, it's going to equal 192 cars and trucks. That's also important. 
Well, why is that so important? Well, we want to know what size each of these parts of the tape diagram are. We know all of them together are 192. We also know that there are 12 parts total. So if we take 192 and divide it by 12, we'll find out how much one of these parts is worth. So I'm going to do my little division problem here. 12 goes into 19 one time. 1 times 12 is going to give me 12. 19 minus 12 is 7. Carry the 2. And 12 goes into 72 six times. It goes in equally. So you'd have your seven, your 72 down here. I don't really have room. Subtract. 0, zero is your remainder. So each one of these boxes, and I can draw it in here, equals out to be 16 total. It doesn't matter that those are cars and those are trucks. The size of the box is the same. Now there are more trucks because there are more boxes, right? There are more equal parts of the tape diagram. So if I want to know how many cars were registered in August, I could add up 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, or we know that's repeated addition. There's five boxes, 16 in each box. Five times 16 is going to give me 80. So there were 80 cars, and we want to know how many trucks, right? So we could do 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16. Plus 16. Oh, it's making me tired just thinking about that. Really, we know it's 16, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equal parts. 16, 7 times. 16 times 7 is 112. So the answer to our question, how many of each type? Well, there were 80 cars. And, oops, I wrote that wrong. 80 cars and 112 trucks that were registered in the month of August. A lot of work, but the key is stick with it. It's not a lot of hard work, but you can't really rush through these type of problems. We're going to do one more example together. Okay, let's look at example two. The superintendent of highways is further interested in the number of commercial vehicles that frequently use the county's highways. He obtains information from the Department of Motor Vehicles for the month of September and finds that for every 14 non-commercial vehicles, there were five commercial vehicles. If there were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles, how many of each type of vehicle frequently used the county's highways during the month of September? Whew, that is a lot of information there, okay? The key thing here is they're asking how many of each type of vehicle I know there's a lot of words here, but we know they mentioned two types of vehicles, right? They mentioned 14 non-commercial vehicles and five commercial vehicles. So I'm going to write non-commercial. I'm just going to write it that way. And then over here, I'm going to write COM for commercial. So we have non-commercial and commercial. And we see, make a little space there. If we go back up top. 14 non-commercial uh, non vehicles compared to five commercial vehicles. Now, there's a lot more to unpack here, but the first thing I want to do is I want to make my tape diagram because then I have something to, to use, right? Even if I don't know exactly what else I'm going to do with some of this information, like the 108 more, I'm going to jump right into making my tape diagram so I have a visual tool that I can use. Okay, I started by creating 14 equal parts for my non-commercial, right? Because it said 14, okay? And just, to, here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna count them. I know that sounds like, well, of course you counted them already, right? I wanna just double check. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If I had written the wrong amount down, then um, we could have issues there, right? Now I'm gonna create my commercial so you see here I put non for non-commercial. Down here I'm going to put COM for commercial. That's an O, oh, trust me. Okay. Now the important thing is I know there are five commercial vehicles for every 14. So I'm going to create five. One, two, three, four, five, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Now the important thing about that is that the first five up here, one, two, three, four, five, and these five, one, two, three, four, five that they line up 
perfectly, right? So those five match because they should be the same size and they can overlap. So you have to make sure that both uh, sets of information match up. So my first five here match up with my first five down here. Here's why it's important that they match up. If you go back up here, there were 108 more commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles. I'm sorry, there were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles. If you look back down at your tape diagram, the 108 more would be this part, right? Because the first five here and the first five here should be the same number of vehicles. So your 108, your 108 more vehicles would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It'd be those nine boxes. So what I need to do is find out what that means. So if I have 108 more vehicles for non-commercial, and I'm gonna divide it by those nine boxes, right? Nine goes into 10 one time. One times nine is nine. Subtract, we have one, bring down the eight. Nine goes into 18 uh, two times. We have 12. Well, that means that each of those boxes equals 12, right? Well, what that also means is all these boxes, sorry, I accidentally hit pause. What that means, if all of these boxes equal 12, so there's nine boxes of 12, these boxes over here also equal 12. It's gonna be hard for me to write in all of them, right? Because they're all the same size. Each equal part or box as I'm referring to, they're all the same. So basically, if you wanna find out how many of each type of vehicle, well, on the non-commercial side, there are 14, um, equal spaces because of the ratio of 14 and if each space is 12 we can do 14 times 12 and that's going to give us 168 non-commercial vehicles and down here we have one two three four five spots which correlates to the five in the ratio five times 12 gives us 60 I'm going to erase just a little bit of this work here so we have a little bit of room to write. On your paper, obviously, you'll have as much room as you need. It gives us 60 commercial. And so that's our answer. How many type of each uh, or how many of each type of vehicle used the highway in September, right? Or used it in September? 168 non-commercial, 60 commercial. Okay, that's a lot to unpack. And that's why we only did two examples because those problems do take some time. They do go in depth. We'll have some practice time in class and we'll jump right into it. Okay, thank you for watching.